Have you ever wondered which is a better fuel, hydrogen or ammonia? Today, we're embarking on an intriguing journey to explore these two potential fuels. We'll be comparing them based on various factors such as energy density, production methods, storage, transportation, environmental impact, safety, and practical applications. These aspects will provide us with a comprehensive understanding of which contender, hydrogen or ammonia, holds the potential for widespread adoption and use. So fasten your seatbelts and stay tuned as we delve into these factors one by one. First off, let's look at energy density. Hydrogen packs a powerful punch per unit mass, outclassing ammonia. However, its energy density per unit volume falls short, needing larger storage systems. On the flip side, ammonia may not have the mass energy density of hydrogen, but it shines in volume energy density, making it more efficient for storage and transportation, so it's a bit of a balancing act. So in terms of energy density, there's a clear trade-off between hydrogen and ammonia. Next up, we examine how these fuels are produced. Hydrogen can be generated in a couple of ways. One method is electrolysis of water, where electricity, ideally from renewable sources like wind or solar, splits water into hydrogen and oxygen. Alternatively, it can be created by steam reforming of natural gas, a process that unfortunately relies on fossil fuels and raises environmental concerns. On the other hand, ammonia production mainly relies on the Haber-Bosch process. This method synthesizes ammonia from nitrogen and hydrogen often extracted from natural gas. But here's the kicker. Ammonia can also be produced using renewable hydrogen, which presents a sustainable alternative. So while both fuels can be produced using fossil fuels, they also hold potential for production from renewable sources. This offers a promising pathway to reduce their environmental impact and increase their sustainability. Clearly, the way these fuels are produced has significant implications for their overall sustainability. Now let's consider the environmental impact and safety of these fuels. When it comes to environmental impact, hydrogen shines if produced from renewable sources like solar or wind power. It's a clean fuel with zero emissions. But if it's produced from fossil fuels, it adds to carbon emissions and environmental pollution. On the other hand, ammonia, when produced using renewable energy for hydrogen synthesis, can be a green fuel. It doesn't emit carbon dioxide during combustion, but it can produce nitrogen oxides unless combustion conditions are carefully controlled. Now let's talk safety. Hydrogen is highly flammable and requires careful handling and storage to prevent leaks or explosions. Safety measures include reinforced storage tanks, leak detection systems, and proper ventilation. Ammonia, although less flammable than hydrogen, can be toxic at high concentrations. Safety measures therefore include good ventilation, leak detection systems, and proper training for workers on handling procedures. Thus, both environmental impact and safety considerations play a crucial role in determining the suitability of these fuels. Finally, let's discuss the practical applications of hydrogen and ammonia. Hydrogen, with its high energy density per unit mass, is already making waves in the transportation sector. It's used in fuel cells for cars and buses, and it's showing promise in long-duration energy storage and industrial processes. Imagine a world where hydrogen fuels our daily commute and powers our industries, all while leaving a minimal carbon footprint. On the other hand, we have ammonia, a crucial component in the fertilizer industry. It's starting to gain attention as a potential fuel for transportation and power generation. Ammonia fuel cells could be a game-changer, especially in areas with established ammonia infrastructure, it's a resource that's more efficient for storage and transportation thanks to its higher energy density per unit volume. Picture a future where our energy systems are intertwined with a fuel we've been using in our farms for years. As you can see, both hydrogen and ammonia have unique strengths when it comes to practical applications. So, which is a better fuel, hydrogen or ammonia? We've traveled quite a distance, exploring the attributes of hydrogen and ammonia as potential fuels. Each comes with its own set of advantages and challenges. Hydrogen, with its high energy density per unit mass and clean burning properties, could revolutionize our energy sector. On the other hand, ammonia, with its higher energy density per unit volume, is more efficient for storage and transportation. The production methods, storage, transportation, environmental impact, safety and practical applications, all vary for these two contenders. In truth, the answer to the opening question really depends on the specific context and needs. Some applications might favor hydrogen, while others might lean towards ammonia. As we move forward in our quest for sustainable and clean energy sources, both of these options could play critical roles. In the end, 
Both hydrogen and ammonia have their advantages and it's up to us to make the best use of them. Thanks for watching.